First of all, how's the foot? Yeah, no, it's coming on really well. It's one of those injuries that, uh, sort of, um, having landed on the heel, um, I think there's been a lot of stories about what actually happened. But um, you know, I was on the on the at, at the beach on the on the deck and climbed up on the rail to clean some windows with the brush and lost my balance and sort of fell backwards on onto the concrete down by the garage and it was about three metres and landed on my on my heels and so. Uh, you know, initially they were going to operate, but they decided not to, and um, a couple of wires that put in, in, in my right heel, and they come out in about, uh, well, actually next week, in about seven or eight days, and and then they've said I can start using crutches then. Um, I'm just hoping in a few weeks, um, after being on the crutches and taking a bit of weight on my right foot, I'll be, you know, mobile again and walking around. Have you got cabin fever? Uh, it hasn't been too bad. I'm lucky enough, you know, you got the, the laptop and, uh, you know, so I'm keeping up to date pretty much with uh, what's been happening in Wales and uh, you know, online. And uh, you know, you're lucky enough with the rugby channel here, you get to see a bit of rugby. And yeah, you know, the frustration is that you're reliant on people getting around. But uh, one of uh, my wife's uh, uncles has given me a mobility scooter to to drive around, as so I've started taking rugby trainings. On you, know, you can imagine me sort of driving around on this mobility scooter at the moment and. Uh, a friend who lives across the road turned up yesterday with some tassels. He said, I want to pimp your mobility scooter. So everyone's been asking for photos of that. So, How much input is there from you? So how often are you talking to Rob and the boys back there? Yeah, probably talking to Rob you know, three or four times a week, two or three times, you know, just depending. And you know, He rang me at about 10 o'clock the other night when he was out walking the dog and we, we had a bit of a chat about things. and. It's probably just a, sometimes a, a chance to sort of um, for me to listen really some of the things that he's experienced and uh, you know, one or two frustrations um, you know uh, but I've got to give them their own their own opportunity to, to make you know what they feel is the best decisions for the team without me having too much of an input. Yeah. So what's the plan now? Test series coming up. Are you going? Are you going to be here? What's what's, what's going Yeah, on? I mean I, I think uh, you know I'll probably. I'll, at this stage, I'll probably struggle to get to Brisbane for the first test, but you know, if I can be in Melbourne and Sydney for the second and third test, um, you know, that'll be great. And um, and as, as much anything, not to so it's just to go and have a look, have a little bit of an input, but really to support the coaches and the players as much as anything. British Lions, what's the latest? Um, I'm not. Uh, I've, I've I've spoken to them obviously, and that's been well documented. And I think they're just waiting to. You know, have assurance that the injury is going to heal and it's not going to be a hindrance in, in 12 months. I, you know, I can assure you that I'm going to be right in you know, a few weeks and, uh, and be up and, and running around. Yeah. And I think the, the, you know, the, perhaps the next process is uh, the Lions agreeing with um, Wales and Roger Lewis in terms of um, the release period and, and you know, what that compensation is. And you know, when that's done, is then perhaps. Um, uh, sitting down with myself and, and you know hopefully being able to to agree terms as well in terms of time frame and and whatever else so you know I think you know it's been going on for a while I think I, I'd like to think we're reasonably close but uh, you know until all those things are done you know it's uh, nothing's final until the I suppose the dotted lines have been signed. And your career as a window cleaner? <laughs> Well, Queen's birthday next weekend, so I think we've got to go back to the beach, and that's one of the jobs we've got to finish cleaning. I, I nearly finished before I fell off the deck, so we're going to clean a few windows uh, um, uh, next week. You know, but, <laughs> no, uh, Warren. Yeah, I know. No. Uh, but uh, I'm getting my sister's uh, uh, and brought me around a bit of knitting to do, so I've been knitting a scarf for her. She's going to. <laughs> Australia for the first test to support Wales. I've been doing this red scarf for us, so people will be surprised about that. Uh, you know, it's uh, be nice to to get away next week for a, for a while and you know, put the last sort of six or eight weeks behind me and start really concentrating and thinking about you know getting back to Wales and, and rugby and yeah, and but you know particularly supporting the other coaches as well.